Welcome back to The Jam. It is 722 and it's time for today's Living Well with Danielle. Now you may recognize him from his stints on the Food Network. He's lost over 100 pounds because of his fresh style of cooking. And he wants to inspire people to do the same. Take a look at this. I used to weigh over 265 pounds. I was pre-diabetic. I have transformed my life and I want to share that inspiration with other people. I'm going to change the world through food one plate at a time. I finally reclaimed my health. Charles, this is some transformation. Thank you. You look completely different. Thank you. I'm like, I lost another person. Truly? You lost 100 pounds? 100 pounds, yeah. Okay, so what triggered that transformation? You know, I was tired of sitting on the couch. I was a couch potato. All I did was eat junk food every single day, and I just hit rock bottom. A light bulb went off of my switch, and I was just like, you know what? I got to change my life. So I started back into the kitchen to heal myself. So you were sick and tired of being sick and tired and you did something about it. Yes. And now you said that you were eating all of these processed foods and that was the cause? Yes, that was the cause and also all the shaming that I had for with food. You know, a lot of times we shame ourselves like don't eat this, feeling guilty about certain things. I just took all that away and I was like, let's have fun with food. And that's why I'm super excited to share some recipes with you guys. How did you mentally get there? Um, you know, I just realized, okay, processed food made me feel lethargic, yucky. So maybe if I started eating more fresh fruits and like start watching what, what the ingredients were, I can actually feel more energy and feel more, you know, satiated. So you Googled some stuff and you came up with these amazing recipes yes. that I looked at. They are super easy to make. So easy. I think the main thing is to make it cost effective and then also family friendly. So anyone can do these. All right. So Taco Tuesday is one of my favorite nights. Taco Tuesday, Fiesta Tuesday. So this is a healthy spin. Uh, we have tortillas that are made out of cassava. So it's gluten free, absolutely delicious, healthy wow. fats. Get the kids involved. Look at all these amazing fresh fruits and vegetables. You can have fun with it, kind of make it to your own liking and custom customize your own tacos. So I've always learned that the more color in the food, the better. And this has a ton of different colors yes, here. A lot of different colors and get the chips in there. Guac is always yummy, right? Healthy right. fats in there. And you don't have to deprive yourself. You can have a few chips, yes, right? Yes, you could. And okay, this is so this is beautiful. What's going on here? So we have matcha brownies. I know you like sweets, right? So oh a little bit of sweets. This is made of almond know? flour. <laughs> I know, right? Everyone. So matcha, you can have your healthy switch and have it too. So this is delicious. It's made with also coconut milk. So there's no dairy in there. Coconut sugar. So it's low glycemic. The recipe will be posted. And so also, there's no butter in there? No, it's coconut oil. Wow. Or you can swap, swap it out for like ghee or something. Okay. How many calories do you know? This is about uh, 250 for like two servings. That's amazing yeah. because most brownies are tons it's of like calories. It's like 500 and like filled with lots of sugar. Yes. So, and also a lot of times people are asking like, how do I save time? Subscribe to like a local organic fresh fruits and vegetable box that they can send to you every single week. Yeah. So then you are filled with like all these veggies and you're going to actually be, you know, like they're going to ask you to make different things with different vegetables. Yeah. Now, someone like me, I feel like I have no time, but I need all my vegetables. So sometimes I make smoothies, which is what you have right yes. here. Yes. All right. I, I'm a big advocate of smoothies. I love, love, love smoothies fresh first thing in the morning. I have some pineapple, mangoes, turmeric, which is anti-inflammatory. Added some calm in there. It's, just, it's magnesium. A lot of people are magnesium deficient. So you want to try? Yes, I do. All right. Cheers. Cheers. To health and wellness. Yes, cheers. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. Right. And I feel like all of these colors make it fun for kids. Have you ever have you ever worked with kids before? I love working with kids. Kids, I think once you get them involved and they're making their own food, they're gonna want to eat it more. I think when you're making it and you're like, here, eat this, they're like, I don't know what's inside. Right. But getting them involved in the kitchen, having them play, cut up little things, make smoothies in the morning, they're gonna more likely they drink it. They feel invested, and, eat it. and yes. that is so delicious. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for thank hanging you. out with us, and all of your recipes are gonna be online, yes. so people can can break it all down. Yep. You guys can find the recipes online. Awesome. Well. He's going to share some more tips on our website, and you can find them all at charleschen.tv as well. Be sure to check out his new show, In the Kitchen with Charles Chen, on HealthyNation.com. You're a rock star.